Did you guys know that you can get a Chunda all the way to more than 400% critical damage, up to 423% or so? Let's find out in this video. Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for watching my videos so far. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. This video will be and a more introductory video to the beginners and mid-game players and also just a showcase of what you can actually have as the maximum potential of a damage dealer and Tranda isn't a good example because she is the meta right now in terms of a damage dealer. She's the top damage dealer in the game because of her great multipliers. She's frequently used in arena teams just because of how hard she can hit and she's going to be the showcase for this video. As a good base to consider everything guys is that when we say best in slot, we mean a six star legendary item with the best possible substats. That's that's the best in slot that you can have. I do not have a best in slot um, champion equipped with all best in slot items. For sure. No way, not even close. Plus, I don't have a fully empowered champion yet. I don't have a faction empowered champion yet. Uh, so my Chanda is not faction empowered. Um, she doesn't get the full benefit from her faction. She does get that attack boost from the faction, but I don't get the speed boost as an example. So I'm a way ahead. Uh, I'm a long way to go to get that, uh, that full boost that you can get out of Chanda. But to get closer to that point, you've got the great hole where the great hole, you get some bonuses like the critical damage and attack percent. You don't have crit here. So that's a good thing to also consider since you cannot get crit through the great hole. You have to get it through your gear, which is more important than critical damage. Most of the times, you will focus on getting critical rate over critical damage just to get to that 100%. Once you get to that 100%, the deal is off. You do not care about critical rate anymore. You focus on every single bit of the other stats that you can possibly get, all right? And that's that's the big thing about building a damage layer as a base. The easiest thing a new player can do is obviously start equipping their champions with critical rate on the gloves here, on the primary instead of critical damage up until they feel comfortable with their gear so they can switch out, get the critical rate gloves off and put critical damage gloves on with a critical rate in the substat. And that has to be rolled well. This one is not rolled well because it does have two rolls on attack percent, one on critical rate and one on attack. We've got speed there, but we could have had a little bit more on every single one of these stats. Here, instead of attack, I could have had something like HP, percent which is good for tanky trenda but more attack is obviously good for her damage potential um this is not a bad item to say but uh, in terms of roles it's behind on what it could have been because if you see here the critical rate is not the optimal for a six star item there are a few ranges that i'll show you in a bit where each and every single item depending on the stars of the item and of course if it's a legendary then that can potentially roll four times on that single substat that uh, single substat roll can go all the way to 35% for, let's say, the critical rate. And I'll show you right now what I have available, what I've been working on uh, today for a little bit. I, I found it as a, a, as a cool little experiment just to see on where a damage dealer can, can go. Because I, I saw a screenshot in the past. Let me just show you this one. Uh, this was from some time ago. This is not my trend. This is obviously a screenshot of somebody's trend. I don't know who this guy is. 132,000 power with an immunity set and a cruel set, which is very good to have a cruel set on for that added ignore defense. But look at that, 180 speed, um, a little bit over 100% crit, but that's not the point. And that critical damage at over 300, 320, and the uh, just just the attack here is close to 8k, right? Which is insane. This Tranda is insane with an immunity set. But as I said at the beginning of this video, we can get even higher with that. But that's all on paper because you need to have a maxed out Tranda, a maxed out legendary hero with full empowerment and full um, and a plus four. So let me just show you what you can get out of the Guardian ring. You know already, but I'm just going to give it to you guys again. So 10% attack there, 10 speed there out of the faction empowerment. And then when you fully empower a hero, you get a plus four. You get 40% to your attack through here, 10, uh, 15 speed, 30% crit damage, and a 10% crit rate. The crit rate especially was something that we didn't, didn't expect to come out of the dupe system. But when we saw this, 
it, it's just insane on where a champion can go just because of that. That 10% changed things so much. Plus the lethal set as an example, which I did not consider. Now that I'm thinking of it, when I made this Excel here, which I'll go into in a bit, I didn't consider the lethal set. And I'm going to be honest with you, I should, I should go back and change it because lethal set actually gives you a 10% critical rate boost compared to a normal savage set. So maybe I need to, to, uh, to change my numbers a little bit again. So the lethal set is the one that drops from Dark Bay. It gives you 10% critical rate plus the savage gear bonuses. So they ignore 25% uh, defense bonus. But obviously lethal sets are brand new. You need to farm Dark Bay. You need to uh, craft these items. And you also need to get very, very lucky in both getting that six star item and getting those subset rolls and then getting them rolled up to where you need to. So it's it's a big it's a big if if you're gonna get the ultimate uh, lethal gear. But for this one, I did not I did not calculate. Now that I just thought of it, and I'm like, I'll keep on going with this video. Let me move myself here. All right, guys. Now I'm on the other side of the screen. Here it is. Here is the um this worksheet that I found. I found this from Tyrauku. Uh, he's another YouTuber. He made this table a while ago. I don't know if he made it personally, but I found it from his video. So definitely go check it out. Uh, check out his channel if you want to. He didn't go on this subject, but I'm not sure if he went all the way uh, in this subject. But this is where I found the ranges. I knew about the ranges, but I never found a such a detailed way to find them. I also found this screenshot from somebody uh, in the past, but this is an outdated screenshot. This is all about five star items because we didn't used to have six star items, guys. And now we obviously have mythical but mythical are not going to be included in this video because mythical items are limited to the hydra sets so the hydra sets are not optimal for let's say uh the damage dealers they don't give you that ignore defense at the moment and the potential of a cruel plus savage combo that you can get so what i've made here is let's say you've got your uh damage dealer, you're equipping your damage dealer. what you're looking for is the maximum potential that you can give your damage dealer and each and every single piece of gear that you can equip them has different ranges but also different potential uh, meaning you cannot get a an attack percent out of a shield ever like never you'll never be able to get attack percent out of a shield it's it's just not possible it's not within the roles of the item and you can actually look at it in more detail if you click this little eye there the information tab it, it shows you each and every single substat possibility out of your item so Let's say the gloves, you can get all these different primaries, but you can also get these different subsets. But for the shield, you cannot get attack percent. It's just not here. It's not within the table of the roll. So it's ex excluded from it. Uh, the same thing with the weapon. So on the weapon, you cannot get a defense percent, but you can get an HP percent. So if you're looking for HP percent, you can get it out of the weapon. But the helmet, you can get everything uh, out of that. And the same thing with the chest plate and the boots. Of course, you cannot get a attack percent chest with attack percent primary it just doesn't work the same thing with gloves same thing with boots you know get speed on the boots primary and uh, a subset you can just cannot get that um although for rings you can get attack flat and then attack percent on the uh on the rings amulets you can get critical damage obviously for uh damage dealers and then attack flat in the uh amulet substats banners you go for attack flat on the banner and then attack percent uh as a as a substat so this is where you can find this if you're ever interested you click that little eye here on the top let's go back to the excel worksheet and i'll show you what i've done so this is the most optimal gearing out of a champion so as i said in the beginning you're looking to replace that critical damage glove of your hero that critical rate glove over here to a critical damage glove and this is when it happens you get that 80 percent boost right there and the maximum possible roll that you get is a critical rate of 35 percent on the gloves which is insane the insane thing about this is because this is a range it means that you can have unlucky rolls and instead of having this to go 35 percent it can actually be a quad rolled glove with critical damage on the primary with a substat of 25% here as the maximum roll, which is kind of bad. Like uh, you got the worst rolls possible. So the gear started out at 5%, then it went to 10, 15, 20, 25. When it could start at 7, go 14, 21, 28, 35. 
right? So there's a lot of RNG in terms of gear within the game, but assuming that you get the best out of the best possible ranges, this is the gearing uh, that you can expect to have. Uh, and I've, I've done this little experiment, but remember I didn't include lethal in this. I just remembered about lethal. So we could see a little bit higher than this critical damage potential. So 423% critical damage is the maximum that you can get based on what I've done with the savage plus cruel. Oh. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. In terms of all the other roles, I would say it, it also depends on the champion. If critical damage is more ideal than attack percent, there's a few cases where attack percent is better than having more critical damage. And the way that I found that you can calculate that is from Hell Hades website. Let me open that up right now. So on the Hell Hades website, this, this thing called the damage efficiency tool, I've gave Trenda here as the example of this video. And Trenda, let's say my Trenda had an 8,000 uh, current primary value, so 8,000 attack. What if I had that 423% critical rate, critical da damage? Let's see if this is efficient. Primary stat to obtain 410. So this actually tells me that I need to get a little bit more primary stat in order for my critical damage to be efficient. So I would be better in getting more attack percent compared to getting more critical damage when, I, I'm, when I'm reaching these stats. So there's obviously a... Um, a sacrifice that you can do in terms of critical damage so obviously not getting the best critical damage is the answer sometimes more attack is better than having critical damage but that, this is not part of this video this is just a fun showcase of what you can do explanation of what the ranges are in terms of gear because um if you didn't know before gear ha can have different ranges and obviously there's bad six star legendaries and good six star legendaries and i have a few examples of these so uh, let's say this weapon right here on my trenda has a 14 percent critical rate it means that it started out on on a seven percent it rolled great on that one roll that it got and got to 14 percent and then unfortunately went to critical damage which this didn't roll as great and then attack percent which again didn't roll as great if they were they would be also at 14 percent and 40 percent and also if this was the best in slot it, this would have been a legendary item with a speed substat there and i would have used glyphs in there so the way that i did my calculations here it's um obviously thinking that you can get that base in critical rate get that five percent from masteries 70 percent from gear and then 10 percent from empowerment you go all the way to 100 percent so no lethal set by the way and critical damage as the base that all legendary attack base heroes have 10 percent from masteries 295 from gear so every single piece of gear here gives me 295 percent critical damage so 80 percent from the um from the gloves a quad rolled chest quad rolled boots quad rolled shield um helmet and of course weapon and then everything else is single rolled at the best roll possible so seven percent crit rate seven percent attack six speed which is the maximum that you can get and doing all that you would reach a 100 percent uh, crit rate 423 critical damage a boost of 291 attack percent on everything and that's including glyphs so rolling the glyphs to their maximum which is very difficult thing to do having a full empowered hero having a full great hole and then also um, you know your speed goes all the way to 254 which is again with maximum rolled glyphs which you would never do on a damage dealer you would never use your six star glyphs on your trunda if you didn't need to like if you were comfortable with the speeds of your fastest champion let's say my uh, arbiter then i would start sacrificing those six star glyphs on my damage dealer. i would never do it at the moment because let's say i've got this one it's a 23 plus 7 i could just start sacrificing my six stars but there's no point i want to sacrifice them on a quad roll item and i I don't think I'll get it anytime soon, honestly. But uh, that's the idea of min-maxing uh, your account and min-maxing your hero. Uh, this was the video, guys. I, I didn't want to take it too long. It's it's all about gearing your champions correctly, looking at the right stats on each one of your heroes. And if you're a beginner, obviously don't look for these best pieces just yet. Focus on the easy things first. So 100% crit. Focus on getting a little bit more critical damage out of the amulet. Focus on getting more critical damage, uh, attack percent out of each and every single piece of gear that you can. 
and slowly but surely you'll get to that power uh, potential that your hero can do. Trunda is a good example for this one as the best damage dealer out there, as an attack damage dealer. We've got HP damage dealers, we've got defense based damage dealers. So, uh, Solas is a very good defense based damage dealer. HP damage dealer is Magnar, that epic that we have, which it's much easier to empower uh, in terms of faction. So, there's a lot of damage dealers out there. Trunda was just my example. So, this was the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, this might not be 100% accurate. As I've said, this was done over the last couple of hours. I was just playing around with the numbers. If you found this interesting, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you found anywhere else something similar to this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, as I said. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!